Hello everyone, this is Scorpion from How To Do, and today I will be showing you guys how to make vaulting system in Unity and Playmaker. So it will look like this, and it's really awesome and really easy to do. And let's get started. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to just let me just delete it so that I can, yeah, okay. Now what you have to do is you have to just import a animation. I am using this animation. All right, and it's really awesome. You can find it from mixmo.com, and you have to search for jumping over. All right, and you can just download it and import it. Make sure that it is humanoid, and go to animation and click bake into pose. All right. Now go to animator, so if you don't know what I'm doing then I am continuing the third person system so if you haven't seen it then go ahead and click the link in the description box below and you will find out how to make this third person system so it will look like this. So you can you can walk, the camera will rotate and you can run and run around like that. So just click the link in the description box below and you will find out how to do that. The next thing what you need to do is you need to just drag and drop the animation. Uh, and let's just call it vault so it's the same animation nothing fancy and then make transition from vault to idle okay and let's just keep it like that the next thing what you need to do is you need to just import the playmaker so if you haven't imported it then just go ahead and click the link in the description box below and you'll uh, find out how to download it for free go to playmaker tab and go to add-ons and say download add-ons alright and eco browser and you can just download the eco browser from here and when you have downloaded and imported it you can see that when I go to add-ons there's ecosystem and eco browser and you have to say raycast 2 uh, raycast 2 so you have caps lock on <laughs> and you can find the Raycast 2 over here and you can just download it but I have imported it before the tutorial so you you can just say get over here and you can get it and it will import it automatically now what you have to do is you have to just go ahead and make a cube and that will be our uh, vaulting object let's just place it over here and make it this roughly like that Okay, I like that. And give it a material like this. Now go to tags, add tag, and you have to just say plus. Vault object, and then go to cube, and add vault object tag over here. Next thing what we want to do is we're going to go to the player and make an empty object go to the side view and position it kind of like this uh, like that and just rename it to vault detector and just add an FSM and say edit edit there we go now what you have to do is you have to just go ahead and say get button down get button down which button it's jump so you can uh, you can pretty much add any button but I'm using the jump button because it's space and of course you can use anyone so now what you have to do is you have to just say new event vault why not wally <laughs> okay it, it's good add transition vault and now what you have to do is you have to say Raycast Raycast 2 so you have imported it from the eco browser right there you have to import it because it's it has some uh, new options and now what you have to do is you have to just go ahead and store hit object or first what you have to do is you have to say the direction the direction will be Z so it will shoot the rays in Z direction so Z and 0.6 or 0.6, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.
0.5 distance and in one direction self it's good now what you have to do is you have to store the hit object as test obj test obj and immediately after that what you need to do is you need to say game object compare tag and we want to compare the test object to compare the vault object if it is the vault object then go to vault if it's not then go to finished finished and come back there and let's add the vault vault uh, let's just rename it quickly like that <laughs> Vault and go over here. Now, what you have to do is you have to just say animated crossfade, animator crossfade, and we want to specify game object the player and s the player, and the state name will be Vault. Vault. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to wait, wait, wait for 0.5 or all. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's good. And say finished, finished, and come back there. So now let's see what happens if we play. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what happens. So if I come over there and he does really bad. <laughs> really really bad animation and nothing really happens actually so that that kind of happens now what we want to do is we want to make him short a uh, little like that and we want to set the property you can see right if I select this guy you can see the character control right here capsule so it comes in the in the so it it prevents the guy to vault so we want to set that to something lower so just drag and drop the player in here and say character controller set property height height to zero every frame control C that control V that and control C okay. and control V and just copy the actual height paste it over here and let's see now what happens let's play and see okay so it does kind of the vault kind of kind of vault but the animation duration is not perfectly set so let me just go over here into the transition so what's that okay so we have to set this guy so he's running okay it's kind of perfectly set let's alright so let's just play and see what happens uh, press space and yeah he does the vaults and it looks pretty awesome so that's it hope you guys enjoyed and one thing you will notice that when we come from here he does the animation and clips and gives a bad impression like that so if you wanna uh, restrict the users to not to access the vault from this these two points then you can just simply go ahead and uh, add another cube over here just copy that paste it over here select these two and uh, remove the mesh renderer and go to uh, tags and untag it then you will see that when you play then it won't do the vault from oh sorry uh, where is it just make it over here 
then you will see that when we do the vault from these sides then it won't do the vault alright but it still vaults from the front as well as the back so that's it hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did subscribe to my channel which is how to do and uh, go ahead and subscribe my channel and if you have any suggestions then just go ahead and leave them in comments hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you next time <laughs>